or, or as we say in Zambia, Muribwanji, or in South Africa, Saubona. So Safari Jim here with another video update. And today I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about Safari, the word and what Safari actually means, because we say we're in the Safari business and we just assume everybody knows what we're talking about. But I know some people, uh, it means different things to different people. So, of course, where does the word come from? Safari, it's actually an Arabic word, believe it or not, which was safara, and in Arabic it means a journey. And then it became a Swahili word, safari, and of course then the British, when they colonized uh, East Africa, they picked it up meaning uh, to go on safari. And of course in those early days, it meant a hunting safari with the uh, big white hunter, and he was out, obviously, uh, hunting uh, the big five, perhaps. Uh, elephant, rhino, uh, buffalo, uh, leopard, and the lion. And so, since then, we've turned it and it's been reimagined, if you like. Safari is now very much photographic safari. But it's gone beyond that as well. And more recently, a lot more activities have been added. So you may have thought that Safari, those of you who've kept up with the development of Safari, meant simply uh, game viewing. Early, early, early up in the morning with the sunrise, out with the wildlife as it's getting up in the Jeep and uh, having that wonderful spectacle of the wildlife, large herds of animals out on the plains of the Serengeti, for example. And then back to the lodge, a little bit of siesta, a little bit of downtime, read your book, etc., and then in the afternoon go out again, catch that sunset, uh, or the sundown as we call it in Africa, when you see their wildlife now preparing to go to bed. So that's very much uh, today what a photographic safari is, but now you have a lot of activities as well. And so now you can go, uh, you can go on a marathon, for example. Uh, you can go jogging. Uh, you can ride a uh, mountain bike. You can interact with the Maasai. In, uh, in East Africa, or the Zulus in South Africa. Uh, you can learn their tribal customs and see their war dances, etc. Uh, and in, in addition, you can hike, you can walk amongst the wildlife, all sorts of different uh, activities you can do. And of course, safari has now also become very luxurious. There are fancy lodges, uh, there are still tented camps that you can stay in, but a lot of these places actually make the glossy magazines here in the States because they make the uh, top establishments around the world, any place in the world for uh, luxury, etc. And so Safari is now very much an interactive experience. It's a wonderful experience. It's a life-changing experience, that's for sure. And of course, it includes spect spectacular landscape. You're going to see if you go to East Africa, the highest, tallest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. You're going to see the wide open plains of the Serengeti where the world famous migration takes place. If you're in South Africa, you're still going to be seeing part of the Rift Valley, that great geographical feature that's visible from space. The Rift Valley stretches from the Red Sea all the way down into South Africa, believe it or not. And on and on and on. So, one of the main things is there's so much choice now for safari, and that's what we at Holland Safaris uh, do. We help you go through all the choices, evaluate them, and decide what's best for you. So, check us out on Facebook. Come and see us here in the office. We're in Newport Beach. Give us a call and let us help you go through all the choices and figure out the choice that's best for you. So, kalani bueno, tizamu wana. Till next time, Safari Jim.